What's up everyone, today we have to talk about Titans and R3.0. Titans have always been about close range punches and with R3.0 they leaned even more into that. So in this video we'll go over a Fist of Havoc build with the Skullford exotic. As usual we'll go over the subclass, then the armor and mods, and last some weapon recommendations. If you enjoyed this video you already know what to do, so let's begin. First, I want to mention something Titans lost with the R3.0 update, and that is Trample. Trample was part of the Bottom Tree Striker or Koto the Juggernaut, and it allowed us to extend the duration of our Fist of Havoc by getting kills with it. Well, that's a thing of the past since it's nowhere to be found on the aspects of fragments with R3.0. So my thought is there might be an exotic coming in the future that will allow us to extend the duration of Fist of Havoc, similar to the Warlock's Geomax Stabilizers or the Doom Fangs on the Void Titan. I really hope we get it because without it, Fist of Havoc ends way too quickly. Okay, let's dive into the build. I'm going to be using Ballistic Slam because who doesn't love Ballistic Slam? The new Thunderclap melee is super cool and powerful, but it just takes too long to charge in my opinion and you just sit there taking damage, when with this build I want to keep moving. And I'm also using the Pulse Grenade, but it's totally up to you. Now for the good part, the aspects and fragments. Touch of Thunder gives us two fragment slots and enhances our grenade. For Pulse Grenades, they create ionic traces periodically as it damages targets and increases in damage over time. It also enhances flashbangs, lightning, and storm grenades if you like those better. And then we have Knockout, granting us two more fragment slots. Critically wounding a target or breaking their shields infuses your melee attacks with arc energy and increases your melee range and damage for a short time. So even if your melee isn't fully charged, you still get arc punches with this aspect. But there's more. Defeating targets with melee attacks starts health regeneration and makes you amplified. Amplified is the new buff introduced which increases your movement speed and weapon handling. Also, after sprinting for a short time, your speed increases even more. Remember that you can become Amplified simply by rapidly defeating targets with arc damage. For the fragments, we have the Spark of Amplitude. Rapidly defeating targets while Amplified creates an aura power. Then the Spark of Magnitude. Lingering arc grenades have extended duration, benefiting lightning, pulse, and storm grenades. Then we have the Spark of Shock, where your arc grenades jolt targets. Jolt is a new debuff introduced, similar to Scorch with Solar or Volatile with Void. The target becomes charged with arc energy. As they take additional damage while jolted, they chain lightning to near targets. So now our pulse grenades will jolt and chain lightning to nearby targets while also creating ionic traces. And for our last fragment, we have the Spark of Resistance. While surrounded, you are more resistant to incoming damage. Fantastic, since we're going in throwing punches. Alright, before we jump into the armor and mods, here's my stats. Nothing crazy, just my intellect at tier 7 for supers and resilience at tier 8 for survivability. Moving on to our armor, let's begin with the Skull Fort. Ancient exotic, we've had it forever, random drop, it's even sold by Xur sometimes. Transfusion Matrix. Kills with arc melee abilities trigger health regeneration and restore melee energy. So I went ahead and did some testing comparing this exotic perk with the knockout aspect. For this exotic to proc health regeneration, you need to have your melee fully charged and get a kill. Meanwhile, using the knockout aspect alone, you can start health regeneration by getting a kill with uncharged melee attacks. Plus, this also gives us amplified buff. So even if it feels like we're double dipping here, I found it very helpful to have both since the Skull Fort also restores melee energy with a kill. The mods I have equipped are hands-on for super energy with melee kills, Kinetic Siphon, where rapid kinetic weapon final blows create an orb of power, and Well of Ions, where picking up an arc elemental well causes your next melee to deal increased damage. Also guys, if you get any value out of this video, please don't forget to hit that like button to help the channel with this algorithm. It's greatly appreciated. Now for my arms, I went with Momentum Transfer. Causing damage with grenades reduces your melee cooldown. Focusing Strike from the Seasonal Artifact. Grants class ability energy when you cause damage with the melee attack. And Elemental Ordnance. Getting a grenade kill spawns an arc elemental well. On my chest piece, I have a Fusion Rifle Scavenger and Thermoshock Plating from the Seasonal Artifact. But you can also stack two Thermoshock Platings for extra protection from Arc and Solar damage in more difficult content. 
Last, I have a melee well maker to spawn arc elemental wells with power melee kills. Moving on to the legs, I have a recuperation mod, replenishes health when picking up an orb of power, absolution, reducing all ability cooldowns when you pick up an orb of power, and font of might, to buff our arc weapon damage when we pick up an arc elemental well. And for the class item, we're going with search detonators to stun overload champions with our arc grenade. Then Bad Amplitude. Damaging a champion with an arc ability causes the champion to become jolted, which I think I'm going to replace this mod with Lightning Strike twice, which I haven't unlocked yet but it sounds really good. After throwing a grenade you gain increased grenade recharge, and arc kills extend the duration of this. It's gonna be great for infinite grenades. Anyway, the very last mod I have, and I think it's a must have, is Seeking Wells. So our arc elemental wells come to us like the Ionic Traces already do. It is time to talk about weapons. I have to tell you about this SMG roll I got the other day, hear me out. The new Stasis SMG with Season 18 Blood Feud comes with the new Origin Trade right hook. Dealing melee damage gives this weapon increased target acquisition and range for a short period. Dealing melee damage again extends the effect. So that's the Origin Trade. Now it also dropped with Frenzy. Being in combat for extended time increases damage handling and reload speed. And the new trade with Season 18, Pugilist. Check this out. Final blows with this weapon generate melee energy. What? Dealing melee damage improves this weapon handling. So now the all reliable Monte Carlo exotic perk that gives you melee energy has become a legendary weapon trade. Pretty sweet. This opens up the exotic slot for something else. If you can get your hands on one of these, try it out, or just craft your own and level it up so you can get these perks. It is so nice to be able to fill up my melee with about 4 kills. So for my energy weapon, I've been swapping between my Adept Plug 1 with Killing Wind and Reservoir Burst, and the new exotic fusion rifle Delicate Tomb. This new exotic is so good, not only does some good damage but jolts enemies and also creates ionic traces, such a good weapon. But, if I want to equip my Thunderlord exotic, I have to stick to my Plug 1. Thunderlord just got updated with a new catalyst that partially reloads the magazine with lightning strikes and intrinsic overload champion, so it is a really good option as well. I also love my Storm Chaser linear fusion rifle from the Duality Dungeon, with Vorpal weapon and rapid hit, great for bosses. Like I said, Monte Carlo works really well with this build, giving us our melee back immediately, ready to drop another Ballistic Slam and swap to Fusion Rifle once you're surrounded or just punch your way out. So with this Titan Arc 3.0 build, we'll be punching our way through everything. The Skullford Exotic and our Knockout Aspect will constantly heal us with melee kills, refund our melee and makes us amplified. Multiple kills while amplified creates a normal power with the Spark of Amplitude fragment. Our grenade will last longer, create ionic traces, and jolt enemies with a touch of thunder, the spark of magnitude, and the spark of shock fragments. We will also generate arc elemental wells with grenade kills and with melee kills with the melee well maker mod and elemental ordnance. All these wells will come to us like ionic traces with the seeking wells mod to power up our punching machine. And there you have it guys, Titan R3.0 all about punches with ballistic slam. But you can totally do Thunderclap too if you so desire, it worked great. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel to help me out with this algorithm. Let me know in the comments if you're applying a version of this build. My goal is to give you an idea and you implement it and adjust it as you like. I want to thank you all so much for watching, all my contact information is down in the description, Discord, merch store, Instagram, all that. Eyes up, my name is Tavius Place, and if you want to watch all the Infernal Destiny 2 videos, you can click here.